Hey guys, what's up? It's Martin Miller here from my little home studio. And today I want to introduce you to a plugin called Axiom by Blue Cat Audio. Now, this is quite an interesting one. Um, I'm sure most of you guys have tried a lot of different uh, digital hardware or digital plugins that kind of try to emulate what's happening in the analog world. Um, so mostly it's it's either component modeling or like um, impulse responses and those types of things. Now Axiom takes a bit of a different approach here and this is layman's terms, this is how I explain it to myself. I'm not one of the tech geniuses but basically it provides you a super complex algorithm with a ton of parameters and by adjusting those parameters you can come up with your own sounds, with your own amps. You can manipulate the way an amplifier, for example, uh, responds frequency-wise, but also the way it clips by shaping the actual waveforms, etc. So this can be really complex, um, but it can also be very simple if you just use the presets and kind of go from there. Then it's pretty much, uh, you can handle it like a regular amplifier or amplifier plugin, but it lets you go much deeper than that. Um, and I actually wrote down a big bunch of bullet points here uh, next to me because there's just so much to cover about this plugin that I, for the life of myself, cannot remember uh, what it all is. So uh, without further ado, let's have a look at the surface of Axiom. I got it open here, an instance of it, and I've loaded my, I call it the MM lead, uh, kind of my standard distortion tone. Got a reverb on it, I got a delay on it. Um, let's hear what it sounds like. Yeah, so that's my general lead tone. As you can see, I have uh, the typical type of parameters like gain, drive, bass, middle, treble, tone, etc. But if I click the edit mode, <laughs> you can see something substantially more complex is happening here. And even within the edit modes, I have edit modes. So I have my preamp section here, which is basically um, frequency shaping before uh, your signal hits the distortion. Then you have the destruction phase uh, where the signal gets distorted. And if I click here, I can see all kinds of different types of, of distortion. And, and if I just go, if I just click myself through these, you will hear lots of different types of sounds, which couldn't really be achieved by changing the frequency spectrum or the EQ. Now the cool thing about this, this doesn't just contain uh, traditional guitar amplifier types of distortion. Basically you can use this like a general saturation plugin, be it on a vocal track, on a drum bus or even on a whole mix to give it some tape kind of saturation. And you can even mess around with custom shapes. So if I, if I let this roll and fiddle around with the knobs here. You can see I can achieve all kinds of useful, uh, not so useful, creative, crazy effects. Whatever you desire, this plugin will kind of have it. Um, 
And down here, there's the, the cap section, which isn't a traditional IR, because as I said, this program likes to do things very differently. Instead, you have a very complex EQ at hand that has like bell type shapes, as high cuts, low cuts, even has a comp filter to achieve some different sounds. And basically what I did, I, I was trying to go for my typical sound. I was listening back and forth uh, and comparing with my traditional rig. And then I just dialed in the EQ until it sounded like I expected to sound. And the cool thing is, if we go over here, we have, as you can see, uh, slots to insert effects. So this program provides you so much freedom, I inserted another comp filter here, and then another EQ, and then another EQ, and then I uh, inserted a delay and a reverb, and then I had my sound. And of course, you can insert all kinds of other effects, uh, such as delays, reverbs, distortions, different types of dynamic processors, such as compressors and gates. Uh, more EQs, some modulation effects, some crazier stuff, etc. Now, one thing that deserves an extra mention is the integration of the plugin called Late Replies, which is basically the most complex delay plugin I've ever seen in my life. It's so vast that even after spending a couple hours on it, I could barely scratch the surface. Um, so let's have a look into that. So we can open our instance of late replies. I've inserted it here in my signal chain behind the amp as you typically do with delays. So as you can see, this is really complex. Um, there's a ton of fun to be had here and you can achieve some effects that I mm, haven't seen in any other delay plugin so far, basically, uh, let alone hardware. So let's just kick the loop back in and I'm just gonna click myself through some presets here going from more traditional to uh, as crazy as can be. So I started with, with a basic delay that I use on lead tones, which is a ping pong. So it goes back and forth between the left and right channel. Couple of repeats, nothing special, no modulation whatsoever. Now, uh, let's see what we got here. Um, start with a broken tape echo. <laughs> So that has a wave shaper on it, which basically takes the signal and messes it up, distorts it, has a chorus. Um, this is uh, some sort of univibe. As you can see, you can insert effects onto the actual delay repeats. And now here comes the crazy thing. You can actually insert your own VST plugins into the shell of the delay which is by itself integrated into Axiom. So and that, that also goes for Axiom in general. Like if I wanted to have one of my favorite plugins inserted right into the chain, it has to sit between the delay and the reverb, for example, I can load any VST I own into here. So the possibilities that this program gives you, they're absolutely insane and you would really have to sit down and figure this out to even understand the creative possibilities that this gives you. So I'm using it in a very traditional way as of now. So it really takes takes a bit of a genius to discover all these possibilities that this plugin has. Um, let's listen to a couple more delays. This is very interesting. Has a nice long tail with a wah effect on it. As you can see, it's inserted down here. Very nice. Um, let's check out some modulation. Phase and pan. Wow, there's some crazy modulation happening that I would be, <laughs> it would be very hard to, to mimic that in the analog world. Um, Let's get a little, little bit more crazy here. Let's see what we got. Um, let's see how ghostly sounds like. <laughs> Getting crazier as we go on. Uh, let's see what else we got in the sci-fi department. Um, this sounds good to me, metallic reverse.
Now I created three presets for you guys to check out um, that I'm gonna demo for you. The first one is kind of a slightly crunchy AC30-ish uh, type tone. Has a compressor in front of the amplifier. The destruction section of it, I pretty much tweaked from zero, came up with these EQ curves myself, uh, and then modified the shape of the distortion. Uh, here we have some more EQing, because I love EQing, I'm an EQ nerd. And then I have two sets of effects. Uh, the first one being a regular type of delay with a bit of modulation on it. And the other set of effects I use for sort of a uh, rockabilly type sound with a slapback echo and a tiny touch of tremolo to give the tone a bit of its own life. The second tone is called the MM Jazz. Now excuse the cheesy title, but it is what it is. Um, has a compressor in front of the amp, this time not as heavy as the previous preset. Um, has an entirely clean signal path, so the destructor section of Axiom can not only do distortion, it can do amps in general, also very clean amps. So I kind of based this around uh, Roland Jazz Chorus type tone. And in the back of the signal chain, we have another instance of late replies, this time with a smidge of pitch shifting on the echo and a little bit of reverb, because I never play without a reverb, basically. And here's what that tone sounds like. And lastly, we have my lead tone that you heard in the intro. It's basically no effects in front of the amplifier. All the distortion, which is a lot of distortion, um, comes from the destruction section. And I have to say this, um, this distortion responds incredibly well to your guitar playing and also to the electronics of your guitar. So I'm gonna play you a little example from my album and this part uses a lot of different pickup positions and a lot of dialing back and forth with the tone pod. And then we have a ton of EQ, as I explained earlier, and a little bit of delay and reverb. Check it out.
another effect that deserves an honorable mention um, is the wah effect. Um, let me just bring that up really quickly. This one basically lets you model your own wah. So you have a bunch of presets to choose from. But if you click the edit button yet again, you see this. Now let's listen to the loop again. <laughs> And you can custom set the filters how you want them to respond to your footwork. Or you can, um, you can automate it in your DAW by using envelopes or whatever. But let me just, let me just fill around with this and see what happens. <laughs> So this baby is a real workhorse. Um, I very much recommend checking it out. I've also been in touch with the programmer from Blue Cat Audio and this man definitely knows what he's doing. This is a company that in my opinion is very passionate and what I really like is that they bring something new to the table. We don't need the 10,000th hardware modeling plugin. The digital domain gives us so many possibilities as far as recording, sound design, editing, but we only ever really scratched the surface and this plugin really is an attempt to go deeper to do some stuff that would be otherwise impossible so that is a big thumbs up for me and as you can hear the most important thing is it sounds very good um, it's relatively easy to use for the amount of stuff that you can do with it so definitely check it out Axiom is available for purchase and download now so if you're in the market for a guitar plugin that covers a ton of amp sounds and effects and has amazing tweakability and tone, you should definitely check out the Blue Cat Audio Axiom. Mm -hmm.